Now, I have my first suggestion, but I want you to take it with a little pinch of salt, and that is to start early or to plan ahead. The reason I say that, or the reason I'm saying take it with a little pinch of salt, is that there are times when opportunities arise. There are times when things just come up, when you least expect. And then when you see an opportunity, sometimes there's no time to plan. Sometimes there's not even time to think that much. You just have to grab the opportunity for when it comes. And that was the case for me when I came to the UK. An opportunity just arose. And at that time, I wasn't ready, I wasn't prepared, but I had to make myself ready. I had to prepare. After the opportunity came, I had no idea I was going to make that bold move to relocate from Zimbabwe to the UK. But as I said, when the opportunity presented itself, I grabbed it because I knew this was an opportunity that would be good for me in the long run because obviously I've been here for a while and I've had so many opportunities. I've achieved an awful lot, more than I could have had, perhaps had I stayed back in Zimbabwe. So yes, start early and plan, especially if you know that you have this move that is coming up. If you've been planning this for a while, then of course you need to start early. If you know that you're going to be making this bold move of relocating from Zimbabwe to the UK, whether temporarily or on a permanent basis, then you need to plan and to prepare because that international move requires a lot of preparation. It requires research. You need to research. The United Kingdom, even if you're going to the US, Canada, or wherever you're moving to, you need to do your research. You need to know the culture of that country. You need to have at least an idea of the cost of living, an idea of what the opportunities are like. So do your preparation, gather the necessary paperwork that you need. If you're coming to the UK to work or to study, then you need to gather everything that is needed. And also it is through planning that you can do your budget if you need to do your budget. If you've got no one sponsoring you in terms of resources, money, accommodation, that sort of thing, then that research would definitely come in handy because you need to have an idea of what to expect, how much you can expect to spend towards your accommodation, towards your food, towards transport and so forth. Do your research, watch videos on YouTube, go to Google, go to the government website .gov.uk. Utilize all the resources that are available at your disposal so that you have a clear understanding of what to expect when you move to the UK. Because we have seen things happen over here. When people relocate unprepared, I mean, I don't need to remind you of what we have seen. People have gotten themselves into serious trouble and some to the extent of developing mental health issues because of the challenges that they faced unprepared. So have an understanding of what to expect. And also another important thing that I want to mention in this video is that you want to embrace opportunities when you come to the UK. The UK offers many opportunities including education, career opportunities, even cultural experiences. So embrace all of that. Have an open mind. Develop a keen interest in those things. Develop a keen interest and be positive. Be open to learning new ways of doing things, to learning new ways of seeing things. Like do whatever is necessary to assimilate into your new environment. Because unless you adapt, unless you assimilate into your new environment, you always be struggling. Life will be miserable here. So do whatever you need to do to make your life as comfortable and as pleasant as possible. Because life can be quite challenging here in the UK, especially if you have recently relocated from your country of origin. It can be quite challenging because there are things to navigate. You still need to learn the British systems, how things are done, how things work, where to go to get help, whatever kind of help that you need. You're still learning to navigate those things. So do whatever you can to utilize the resources at your disposal. And my last offer in this video, and this one is important. Don't isolate yourself. Make an effort to make new friends. Make an effort to create opportunities to socialize. Because honestly speaking, life in the UK, especially for an immigrant, 
it's a whole different ball game. It can be quite lonely here. You can feel isolated, especially if you've left your family behind, if you've left your loved ones behind. You can feel isolated and it is easy to sink into depression. So do whatever you can to make new friends. Go where other experts go and make an effort to socialize. Make an effort to participate in activities and just embrace those diverse experiences. Embrace them. As I said, have an open mind and be positive. Enjoy what the UK has to offer because it has got a lot to offer. So this is what I had for you in this video. As always, I hope you found it useful. If you want more content like this and haven't subscribed, then consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and share. I'll see you next time. Take care.